Hi all and welcome back to the channel and here is the next in the Mission Builders series and I'm going to run through naval and artillery bombardment. So the first thing I'm going to cover is naval bombardment which involves this ship group here. What I want to happen is that when they get into this fire at SAM site zone they will engage this SAM site here on the docks. So essentially what I did first is obviously place the units and then the naval vessel gave it a few waypoints but it's, so it's travelling at 20 kilometers an hour and then the first advanced waypoint action that I set up was to fire at a particular point. I wanted this ship to fire at this SAM unit when flag 1 was activated which is activated when the ship sails in to this zone here. So let's have a close look at it. So perform task in the drop down menu, fire at point, condition, I set to when the user flag is 1, the zone radius which I can show you in action is here, I set it to 22, now you can increase it or decrease it as you wish, and I set the weapon use to auto. Now because the ships are close inshore when they get line of sight of an enemy unit they will naturally open up on it. So what I had to do was give it another advanced waypoint telling it to go weapons hold. So from the drop down I went down to set option. I then selected ROE rules of engagement and then from the drop down I selected weapon hold. No conditions required for the weapons hold because it happens right at the start of the mission. Then what I did was I set a weapons free option because for the ships to be able to fire at the SAM site when the flag 1 is on they have to go weapons free from weapons hold. So let's have a close look at that again set option, ROE rules of engagement in the drop down and selected weapons free. This time in the condition I set it to user flag equals 1 which is when fire at point is activated. And that's the ships set up for close inshore. So effectively what will happen is again the ships will sail into this zone as soon as they get into this zone they will fire at that SAM site. Now I'll show you how we set up the triggers for that. So the first trigger is when the ship, this ship, is in that zone. So Naval Attack SAM is the unit, which is that name of that ship. In the zone, fire at SAM site, so when it's in that zone. And these are the actions I want to happen when that takes place. I want flag 1 to be activated, so I went to action, selected flag on, and then increased it to 1. Then what I want to do is I want a sound to go out which lasts for 4 seconds. So sound to all was selected, and then I chose an OGG file which I have tucked away. Please note that this is for 4 seconds, because this here, this start delay, is a new addition to the mission editor. I haven't used it here, but I have used it when I wanted to display the message. So I selected message to all in the drop down. I then typed in the message that I wanted to appear on screen, which is naval vessel opening fire. That will last for 15 seconds, you can change that as much as you like. But you'll notice I've used the new selection of start delay to 4.5 seconds. So effectively what's happening is that sound will play, blaster on station, and then four and a half seconds later that message will be displayed. So effectively after the sound file has played the message will come on screen. So that's going to be quite useful moving forward. 
and that's it. That's the inshore naval bombardment of that SAM site all set up. So let me show you it in mission now. Jackal 1, Blaster 1, we are on station, lights are up. Okay, so we saw that that worked, so now I'm going to show you how to do another naval bombardment, but with cruise missiles this time. So I've set a ship a little bit further out, set it up exactly as I did as the previous ships, except with the um, weapons hold negated, because it's not close to shore, so it's not going to have line of sight. Again, I set it up for fire at point, but because this is a second vessel, I'm going to turn these off and make them a late activation so it doesn't impact the uh, firing at points. I've not got everything firing at the point at the same time. So this condition this time round uses user flag 3 because user flag 2 I've used for an artillery bombardment which I'll show you next. Same diameter of radius but this time in the weapon I've selected cruise missiles. I've ticked the rounds expend box and I'm asking it to fire three cruise missiles at that SAM site. Now what I want it to do is I want it to fire those cruise missiles after 15 seconds of the game starting or the mission starting. So that trigger that I set up was here a one-time only action, you can name the trigger whatever you want, with no event. I've said that it's time more than 15 seconds. So you go down to the drop-down, select time more, and then it's usually around about 10 seconds, so you can increase it or decrease it as you wish. I've then said I want flag 3 on, because you'll remember that the fire the cruise missiles, advanced waypoint, fire at point, is activated when the user flag equals 3. So what I'll do now, that's a lot simpler setup because it's only a time more than. I'll show you how that works in the mission. So that was the naval bombardment using cruise missiles. Now finally I'd like to show you how we implement that land-based um, with an artillery bombardment of the SAM site. So what I've set up here is a mortar team and basically again I've set up um, a fire at point which is the SAM site again and this time, because I'm showing you three different elements within one mission, I had the condition set to flag two. So when the mortar, so when the mortar team um, is ready, and it usually takes around about 11 seconds for them to prepare and start firing, but I'm asking them to fire after 15 seconds because I've got a time more than condition. So it should be around about 26 seconds before they start firing. Again, I set the auto zone radius of 22. So it's kind of rinse and repeat really, but for a land-based item this time round. So the trigger for this one, I set up here. 
Again, a one time only action, no event, name it what you like. Time more than 15 seconds as per the cruise missile scenario. And this time I ask it to uh, do it on flag 2. Quite simply, after 15 seconds, the mortar team will open fire on the SAM site. So let me show you how that works in mission.